So the four verbs, go, teach, baptize, and teach, and only one of them contains the command. The, uh, the, the, the other three verbs are also significant, but they operate as a participle, which means that they are the nuts and bolts of how to accomplish the command. Okay? So the command is teach all nations. That's the Great Commission. Jesus expects every church member to be involved in teaching all nations. It's not a suggestion. It's not optional. This is exactly what Christ expects of His church. We are to take the gospel and instruct those who don't know the gospel about the gospel. We are also to encourage one another to deepen our discipleship and walk with Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says, provoking one another in love. As a church, uh, God brings people our way. Sometimes he brings a visitor who doesn't know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Can I tell you something? If, if God brings a visitor who doesn't know Jesus as Lord and Savior into our assembly, we're to love on that person. We're to love them to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to them so that they can know how to get saved. Then, of course, the Lord brings us, us who are believers. We trusted in the Lord as our Savior. We're Christians. And then we have gotten baptized, committed, committed to the Lord. And then we've joined the church and we're church members. You know what we need 